Hello everyone. In this video we're going to talk about five easy ways to speed up your Mac and get it running just like when it was new, even if it's a few years old. Beautiful motorcycle, huh? First step is to clear your hard drive. Now I know this one is probably the most obvious, but a lot of people don't pay attention. Um, you need to make sure that you have a good amount of free disk space. When your hard disk is very full, it performs slowly. The whole computer performs slowly. I recommend you should have at least 10% of your hard disk free. So if you have a 500 gigabyte hard disk, that means you have at least 50 gigabytes free. Now, if you're in a situation where you don't want to delete anything, then I seriously uh, recommend that you consider purchasing an external hard drive. They are not that expensive. You can get a terabyte of memory, which is more than you will ever need for a hundred dollars okay um, if you sign up to my newsletter I will send you exact links and recommendations I plan on doing a review of that later anyhow you can see the exact culprits of your space hogging if you go to about this Mac more info storage <clears throat> so that is at the top left um, if I go if I get out of this here you can see right here up here about this Mac, more info, storage, and you see I can get an exact breakdown of how much audio, movies, photos, apps, and other. So I have a whole lot of other right now. But as you can see, I've got 92 gigs free out of 250 gigs, so that's still a nice amount of free memory. So I'm going to be just fine. Um, next, clear your desktop. A lot of people have desktops that are filled with icons and files because when they download anything it goes right to their desktop. Every time you start up your computer from being asleep or just starting it up period, it's going to take a little while to load up those items. So it's a good idea to just organize your desktop so your computer doesn't have to waste that time starting up getting it looking the way it used to with all the icons everywhere. So all you got to do is create a folder and throw all your items in that folder and it will help out the startup time of your computer and it should feel faster. Next you want to limit your startup programs. Every time you start your computer up it's going to take a while to load up your programs and you may not even be using those programs. So to do that you just go to system, users, login items. Um, it's pretty easy. Um, and I think I actually meant to say settings not system system no system preferences then users are here and then the login items okay that's pretty easy to do next you want to monitor your activity and this is easy you just go to the activity monitor tool and you can either go there from applications utilities activity monitor or you can just do the spotlight feature and type in activity monitor which is at the top right of your screen and it'll take you here and you want to organize it by the computer percentage and if you see anything over 90 percent close it especially if you see anything strange that you don't recognize so as you can see in this my top computer percentage is safari which is running at nine percent so i'm doing okay but if you see anything strange where it's running a lot faster a lot more i should say you can close that by right clicking the item and stopping it. Here's some extra tips. Make sure you empty your recycle bin. I know that's another obvious one, but a lot of people delete things and never empty their recycle bin. And every time you run your computer, it's loading up those deleted items. So you might as well just get rid of them. Next thing is you want to make sure you shut down or restart your computer at least once a week. It's not good to constantly just be um, sleep, making it go to sleep and loading it back up. It's not good for the computer. Keeps it fresh if you're if you're at least restarting it once a week. Next is to delete unneeded language files and finally delete your duplicate files. Your duplicate photos, videos, and system files will sync your computer with bloat. In other words, it's just lots and lots of files and folders that your computer really does not need at all, but it's slowing you down and taking up precious room on your hard drive. So I hope that has helped you. 
If you have any other questions, just leave me a comment or go to my blog, duplicatefilesoftware.com. Thanks so much, and until the next time.